morning I'm over working in a garden and one of the projects that I'm working on is removing a dead bush. Um, this burning bush has obviously been gone for some time and the client couldn't figure out why this bush was, was it had died. Um, upon first inspection there was no reason why it should have just died. All the other plants in the area are healthy and so I started digging it out and now that I've got it out I know exactly why it died. This is the rootstock of the plant that had died. It was a, it's a burning bush and what I did first obviously to make it easier and more manageable is I cut all the branches off so that I wasn't struggling around all the branches and as I started to dig this is where the problem is. Whenever you're planting anything, you have to put the plant, the top of the roots, and the base of the trunk, this line here, needs to be above the soil. From here up needs to be out of the soil. From here down needs to be into the soil. If for whatever reason the roots are not buried entirely, the plant will survive. However, if you bury the trunk or the stem of any plant, you're going to kill it. This burning bush had either been planted too deep or there was a recent mulch installation that when the mulch was installed, they came four inches up the stalk of the plant. And this would ultimately lead to the demise of this bush and that is why it died and you can see here is the line at which it should be planted and any topsoil or mulch should never come above this line this plant has tried to establish roots coming out of its stem because it was buried this branch here was below the surface by at least two and a half to three inches. So the soil level was up to this point. And you can see that it's a different coloration, even though it's dead and it's all, it's a different coloration because this died. And when this dies, you can no longer transfer the nutrients up through the stems and out to the bush so it lives. So, when you are planting new plants, especially shrubs and bushes, when they come out of the pot, the level of the soil that they are in in the pot has to be level to the finished level of the soil that you are putting it into. So, for example, if you are going to plant this and then put bark mulch on, you would plant this and leave it a few inches above so that your compost mulch, your aged compost mulch, your topsoil, whatever it is, is going to end at the level of the soil where the plant was growing. So hopefully this little tip provides you some insight into your garden if you have plants for landscaping and you're going to be putting some plants in. Remember to plant the plants at the same height that they were growing in. Don't bury the stalks, that will kill them and your plants will die. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified of any other tips and tricks for gardening that we may post. If you live in the South Syrian White Rock area and you're looking for help in your gardens, go to gardenersforhire.com and use a contact form to shoot us an email. I'll get right in touch with you. We'll see you next time.